What's up, Fit Fam? Coach Rai from Team Flex. Today, we're going to talk about Olympia. We're talking about bikini criteria, and we're talking about Jen Dory versus Jen Dory. Her physique from 2022, where she took second, to her physique from 2023, where she took first, won Bikini Olympia Championship, and is basically the criteria, the standard that you need to know as an athlete. We're going to go in depth with what has changed with her physique, what did not, and what it means for you as a competitor moving forward in 2024 to be your best on stage, what the judges want to see, what you need to be looking like, and what you need to be doing to get there. That's all going to be covered in this video, alright? So stick with me, and if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you are because we got tons and tons of great content like this on the channel and also more coming, alright? So let's get right down to business. So 2022, we're looking at Jen Dory over here on the left, okay? This is 2022 physique. She was the former champion before that, having won in 2021. She came back and Maureen actually beat her, okay? So that's her physique there. She took second. Maureen took first, became Bikini Olympia champion. And we look over here, 2023, and uh, roles have flipped. Jen has now got back to being a Bikini Olympia champion, and Maureen actually took second place. So there's actually a lot of changes that occurred between last season's look and this season's look. And if you watched my uh, analysis last year, you'll remember we talked a lot about Jen kind of looking a little bit too small, a little bit too lean, not full enough coming in where Maureen brought more fullness, a little bit more of the softness that you see in bikini. And, you know, she ended up winning the championship. Well, Jen actually has come back this year and dethroned Maureen. So Maureen's down and uh, Jen is up on top. And there's definitely some very prominent changes and stuff you want to know as a competitor no matter what level you're at. The Olympia sets the criteria tone, ladies and gents. Um, you need to know that. This is when the judges are looking at the top. When we're looking at top five at Olympia, we're seeing a clear example of judges saying, hey, these five athletes have the look that we want to see in this division. They have this kind of conditioning. They have this type of shape. They have this type of muscle here, this type of muscle there. That's what we want to see across the board. So that means even if it's your first competition ever, right, there's stuff that it, the judges are specifically looking at criteria-wise that you still need to fit. No, it doesn't mean you need to look like Jen Dory to be going to your show and doing well. Not at all. But the criteria goes all the way across the board. It's the same whether you're at you know, your first competition, you're trying to get a pro card, you have a pro card, or you're trying to get to Olympia, or you are at Olympia. Judges are looking for the same things. What changes is the quality of the athlete, not the criteria. So that's important to remember. So let's look now. Let's see what exactly changed between last year and uh, this year for Jen and how she ended up getting back to that title. So if we look over here at the left, 2022 Jen Dory taking second place, losing to Maureen, we'll see a lot of similarities. So the shape in bikini is going to be across the board, what we always talk about, the hourglass shape. Boom, there it is. It's the narrow waist. It's the width of the shoulders. It's the rebalance at the lower body. So bikini is all about the symmetry in that shape. We talk about that constantly. I'm not going to go into too much with that there. It's all about the hourglass shape. You got to have it, okay? So what Jen had here was definitely good shape in 2022, but overall a more depleted type of a look, okay? So a little bit leaner in the sense of, uh, you know, she's got cuts here. She's got some of this going on here. We got this going on with the cut in the glute and stuff like that. Moving into the leg. All this is good. This is a little bit leaner in the sense, though, that she was kind of depleted. Like, it almost looked like she ran her physique into this, trying to come in smaller and leaner. And it actually ended up taking her muscle down. So her conditioning was pretty on point for where it needed to be. But it made her look less full okay so we can see you know she's still got the shape to the shoulders but there's definitely you know looking at this as a coach i see there's room that you could have filled that out more doing different peak week stuff or you know training up to competition differently all of that right and so she brought the shape but it's a depleted look it's not as full as it could have been you know still fullness to the glute but they could have been fuller here could have had more of that upper glute more overall just fullness, okay? So what it ended up looking like was a leaner, more depleted type look because the conditioning is still the same, but when you don't have the muscle filled out the same way, what ends up happening is your physique ends up looking overall kind of that deplete zone. You'll hear this a lot, and that's basically to mean that, you know, the muscle's not holding glycogen, carbohydrates not in the muscle as much, not as full as you could have been. Well, in bikini, fullness is key, okay? I know everybody looks at bikini and they say, okay, it's the least muscular division, um, you know, it's not that. I've heard coaches even say that it's really, you know, just about having a beach type physique. Well, 
that's kind of where it started a long, long time ago, 2010. But here we are now. It is definitely not that. These women train very hard. They're building muscle. You have to follow a very dedicated training program, very dedicated nutrition to get this type of look, period. Okay, so it's not just like, oh, you can go to the beach and you can go win Olympia. It doesn't work that way, all right? So if you still think that and you're watching this as a coach or anybody else, get that thought out of your head, all right? That's not true. Um, these physiques are very muscular and you have to maintain this type of muscle to get the shape. It is actually very difficult to do. So, uh, you got to understand that, but with the fullness, that's what judges are looking for. hundred percent judges say, okay, we want to make sure these athletes have that muscle. They have that fullness. They have that shape. So that's kind of, you know, Jen had all those markers. That's how she ended up taking second, but she brought less fullness overall. I think let's look now 2023. This is where we get to see really a clear example of this. So Right at the gate, you'll see, okay, same things we talked about, that shape is here, it's still that tapered, it's still that hourglass, it's still all there, just like we talked about in 2022, it's everything there, hourglass shape, judges love it, judges want to see it, you got to have that if you want to be in bikini. Now, here's where it changed, okay, conditioning didn't change so much, we still have the same level of uh, leanness here, those soft lines we talked about, and the legs, and the glutes, and the uh, obliques, Mabs, everything we talked about 2022, still the same 2023. Here's what did change. A lot more of a full look, okay? So deltoids look bigger. They look more filled out. This is fuller, all right? Even the waist a little bit looks a little bit fuller here, but it's actually not. It's a change in posing angle, and I think that's important to remember too. We'll talk about that in the back pose in a minute because a lot of people have been saying stuff about back pose, um, specifically with Jen, but a little bit fuller looking here. It's more of a posing tweak though, okay? If she was rotated away a little bit more like she was 2022, it wouldn't look that way. So it's just overall though, a more of a fuller look to that pose. And that could have been purposely done, honestly, to say, okay, we don't want to look a little bit fuller here. So we're going to go ahead and rotate a little bit more to not show as tiny of that look in the waist, because actually that would be advantageous if her feedback was she wasn't full enough, you know, in 2022, which was the case, right? So we're looking over here now at glutes, a lot more fullness to the glute. Just overall, there's a lot more density there. Um, and same with the upper glute. You can see much more pronounced upper glute versus 2022. So this is a big difference in the physique, okay? And you can see down into her legs even too, um, where you know we got fullness in the hamstring and the quad, and you're starting to see even a little separation here. That's not an indicator of her being any leaner. She's not really leaner at all, uh, 2023. It's more just that muscle. There's more density in that muscle than there was in 2020. 22 showing through okay so that's a big indicator right if you're looking at this right now bikini needs to have that fullness you need to have that muscle you need to have that shape that's all really really important okay and let's look now back because the back pose is where things really become even more uh, clear. So looking at the back post here, we talked about 2022 um, you know upper body almost even overpowered the lower body because she was so depleted at this point like she was just not filled out all the way is you know she had clear been pushing made probably lower calories going into this uh, competition, more cardio, stuff like that. And even if she wasn't doing that, this is the type of look that you would get, right, doing that as a competitor. Like if you're doing too much cardio, you know, you're doing low calories, you start to deplete the muscle, even though you get lean, your muscle's just not really showing. So you start getting some of this imbalance look, right? Like she has the uh, width of the shoulders taper into the waist, but her upper body looks overpowering to the lower body here, which is not good because it's supposed to be symmetrical and all important to actually show that symmetry up, down, left, and right in bikini, okay? So that was a factor, but really where she got the most depleted look in the back pose was in the glute. You can tell here, like, all right, the glutes are much less, you know, full versus 2023. We're going to get over there in a second, but they're just overall, you know, upper glute looks flatter. Overall, less density here. You can see there's a little bit of separation going on here, which is good. That's what they want, but it's not like, you know, it's not balanced correctly for the upper body, and it also just doesn't show as dense as 2023 where we look over here we're going to get that effect right so we still have the roundness to the shoulder 2023 physique we still got this the tapered look everything tied at the waist where the biggest improvement is is the lower body there's a lot more muscle showing here a lot more fullness so a lot more into the glute a lot more full in the upper glute a lot more just overall kind of getting that you know 3d effect from the ham tie-ins the glutes all of that um into the hamstrings and the legs you can see there's even improvements in the quads and hamstrings versus 2023 
2022 in other words, right? So really what we're looking at here is a much fuller, filled out, uh, you know, more developed type of physique versus where we were at in 2022. So that's really what ended up making her win the title. Maureen actually kind of went and even filled out more than Jen did this year and added more muscle, which I think is what put her down into second. Um, and realistically, this is a clear message from judges, though, like, don't get too lean. Don't get too small. Don't come into competition depleted. Remember that your shape and your size and your muscle is really what all this is about. Because every single division we talk about, uh, no matter what it is, it doesn't have to be open bodybuilding, men's bodybuilding or women's bodybuilding, be considered bodybuilding, okay? Every single one of these divisions, bikini, wellness, figure, you know, men's physique, classic physique, all, all these divisions are revolved in the same exact goal, building the body to look to a certain way. And you have to remember that that only comes from muscle. So a lot of athletes, especially bikini athletes, wellness athletes, they get very in the head about being lean enough, chasing lean, getting leaner and leaner and leaner, thinking more cardio, smaller, smaller, smaller. Well, no, that's not how you're going to get the best bikini physique. Um, and it's not what the judges are echoing for us with the way they're showing us how they're placing things. They're showing us basically with Jen's win this year, a little bit of a softer kind of a look in a sense, um, and a more filled out muscle-wise look. So having more muscle, being a little bit softer, not being overly lean, and not being overly depleted small. Okay, so that's important to note. That's what you want to bring. And uh, I just want to address this real quick since we're talking about Jen versus Jen, talking about um, you know this. I saw a lot of people commenting, okay, Jen has a clear glute asymmetry based on you know some stuff I said said in previous videos about how other athletes might have had uh, glute asymmetry. This is a camera shot that is not 100% straight on, okay? So when we look at the pictures, you have to understand that. Like wherever the athletes are standing on the square here, basically, you know, that's going to change how it looks because camera is in one spot. It does not move. So this is actually not an asymmetry in Jen's glute. This is actually her being a little bit rotated away. She's over here this way more than she is this way, right? She's not dead center. So it makes this glute look off. But if you look at it, right, we're seeing more of her quad. We're seeing more of her hamstring. We're seeing more of the full glute on the outside, the tie in here than we are here. And it's not because of an asymmetry. It's because literally it's rotated away from the camera angle. So keep that in mind when we're looking at this. Okay. That's, that's that asymmetry stuff is stuff that comes in play with people's physiques on stage, but it's not really one for Jen. She's not uh, that asymmetry there that you're seeing is not what is being seen at the judging table. Okay. That's a camera angle thing overall. So yeah, if you watch this far, thanks for tuning in. Um, make sure you subscribe. we got tons of great content. And if you have any questions or anything like that, just comment below. I appreciate any thumbs up or anything you can give me. Um, any shares, whatever you can do to help me because YouTube's put me down constantly. They're trying to like, hey, we don't want you promoting bikini, you know, for some reason. But hey, I'm here to do it. I'm here to tell you, do you like the look? of you know 2023 bikini look this criteria do we like where it's going comment it let me know and uh, remember as always if you need help with anything in your training we do offer a seven day free coaching trial where we train you the same way we train all of our competitors uh you know free for seven days there's no obligation to do anything you're not putting payment info in it's a give back to you it's to help you get better help you get further and if you want to keep compete in bikini and see what it looks like to train like that athlete you know to train like a bikini athlete to win your competition so on and so forth um, just hit the link, you know, it's over there, teamflex.com, so that's a seven-day trial. It's also in the notes uh, down here, description, and I'd be happy to take you on that journey, all right? But plenty more content coming. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Coach Rye is out.